games. Threw it only six times in the win over Penn State. Their run-pass ratio rather slanted. Trev Alberts had a Southern Miss win. If Southern Miss is going to have a chance in this game with their young defensive line, they're going to have to get in the gaps and penetrate up the field and create negative plays for the Nebraska offense. If they can't get on Nebraska's side of the field, it's going to be an awfully long day. If they can't penetrate, Nebraska will just run the ball right down their throats. Long day and a long night. First quarter, we're scoreless. Nebraska running game already strong, deep in Southern Miss territory. Jamal Lord going to hang on to it for the touchdown. That put Nebraska up 7 to nothing. Second quarter, it's 17 to nothing. Southern Miss has the ball. Watch Lornell McPherson untouched as he sacks the backup quarterback, Dustin Allman. Big loss for the Golden Eagles. More of that good Nebraska defense. They came in the top-ranked defense in the country. 17-7 in the third. Lord going play action as the defenders bite on the fake. There's the wide open Ross Pilkington. 44-yard touchdown. It's 24-7. Next possession. They try the play action again. Whether the fake works or not. Lord going to Isaiah Fluell. Look, the coverage is pretty good. Doesn't matter. Nebraska's too good. Touchdown. They go on to win. 38-14. Nebraska, ESPN, and a Thursday evening. Must be another Cornhusker win. In the last 13 years, Nebraska's 5-0 on Thursday nights, 4-0 on our network. The Huskers have now won their road opener and started 4-0 in five of Frank Solich's six seasons.